What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about this Kaiwitz KETS02 digital soldering iron. I do want to start off by saying that Kaiwitz did send this to me for the purpose of a few videos at no charge, but as always all the opinions and thoughts in this video are my own. So first things first, this is a digital soldering iron and it is super cool. It has a lot of great features that I've been looking for in a soldering iron myself. I do some electronics projects as well as just some wiring around the house and things like that. I've been using a cheap Amazon soldering iron that was like 12 or $13 and it's worked fine. However, this definitely takes the cake when it comes to soldering irons and just having a ton of features. To start off, it comes in a nice box. It's packaged very, very well. Let's flip open the top here and take a look. Everything's in this nice foam cutout and then underneath here is where the manual and the extra tips and things are. So everything's well protected, well thought out, well laid out, and it's a great presentation. We'll do some close-ups here in a second, but I just want to go through what comes with this real quick. This here is the soldering iron itself. This is one of the tips. This particular set comes with six. And then this is a cap for the end that will fit with a tip on. So that's a nice feature. And then this is the power adapter. This will get you the best performance with the soldering iron. You can power this multiple ways, but this will give you the best performance. So definitely if you're looking at this, there's a version without this and a version with this. Definitely consider getting the one with this power adapter because it's going to give you those super fast heat up times. Underneath this tray is this box and in it would be the manual and then your extra tips and the power cord are also in here. And the extra tips all come individually packaged. Now I've opened this already and used a couple so a couple aren't in here. They're sitting off to my left here. But you do get five more tips in addition to the one in this tray of varying shapes and sizes. So that's super nice. And if you notice, these tips are quite long and they go down into this handle uh, and kind of click in and then you screw down the nut over the top and everything is nice and secure. And then you're also gonna get your power cable. And it's gonna be a little hard to see cause it's dark and I'm wearing a darker colored shirt, but it has USB-C connectors at the end. That's why I'm saying you can power this multiple ways. You can power this off other USB-C adapters. However, like I said, this is a high output adapter that is gonna allow it to work on 20 volts and give you that fast heat up time and the best performance. All right, so when you first plug this in, it does just kind of come on. It's not actually heating yet. It's just sitting here kind of in a standby mode. So you can still touch this tip and everything. But I have this set right now to 350 degrees Celsius. This will go up to 420 degrees Celsius. So you've got a big temperature range you can go much lower than that, but typically at soldering, I'm around 350 degrees. So you've got a huge temperature range, making this great for electronics projects as well as some lighter home wiring. I mean, you're not going to be using this on like some heavy gauge wire in your house, but you can definitely use it for appliances and some smaller gauge wiring that you may need to do around the house or on your vehicle. So to turn this on, you just hit this down button and it's going to start heating up. And in about eight seconds, eight to 10 seconds, this is ready to solder. That is by far my favorite feature of this soldering. You can see it smoking a little bit already, maybe. Maybe not on the camera, but it is, I can see it here. That is by far the best feature of this. This allows you to turn this on and off and not have to leave it hot all the time while you're working on a project. The worst part about soldering to me is the fact that once you start, you kind of have to get through everything and have everything staged because otherwise you're going to be sitting there with a hot soldering iron on your workbench or you may be working somewhere where you don't have a good place to set a soldering iron down but if you turn it off you've got to wait for that soldering iron to heat back up i mean if you simply just unplug it and it's off it'll cool off in you know a minute or two but then when you plug this thing back in it's ready to go in that eight to ten seconds just like the first time we turned it on so definitely super handy to have that and like i said definitely my favorite feature by far. So I'm going to try not not to burn myself while I'm going through some of these features, but you can see here that the up and down arrows simply change your temperature. So up is higher obviously, down is lower. And this will go from about 80 degrees Celsius and it goes all the way up to 420 degrees Celsius. So you've got a good range there. You can change this to Fahrenheit it's just that, I, I mean, for soldering, it doesn't bother me that it's in Celsius because that's what my other one was set to no matter what. Now, you can take this into a menu, and there's a bunch of settings in the menu. You hold the up and down arrow 
at the same time and it takes you into a settings mode. So the first one is the brightness. If you want to change it, you just hold the up button down to get into that setting. So you can change the brightness of the screen to your preference. And then if you hold the down button down, that takes you back into the menu so you can cycle through. You've got a calibrate function. There's temperature unit, so if you hold this down, it will allow you, like I said, to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You've got a sleep time, so if you're not using this, it will go to sleep after a determined time. You can set that to whatever you would like. Sleep temp will determine what temperature this goes to while it is sleeping. There's a child lock, so basically that allows you to lock this so nobody can turn it on without like going through this menu in order to do that. Handheld, so you can switch this between left or right, which is nice. And then it'll reset with it flipped the other way. And it actually changes the function of the buttons as well. So when you go into this mode, it switches the way these buttons are set up. So your down button, if you're right-handed, becomes the up button if you're left-handed. Kind of keeping the menu the same. There is a voltage selection, so you can actually set this to whatever voltage you would prefer. I leave it on 20 because I'm using that included adapter. However, you can dial this back if you've got a supply that cannot give that 20 volts or enough current to maintain that, which is a nice handy feature to have. This is going to be super difficult to see, but I've soldered some uh, female headers on this little circuit board for a project I'm doing, and it did this just fine, did not overheat anything. I mean, that's kind of up to you to make sure you're not heating things up too high, but worked out great. And then I also used it to, on this relay, if you look at these pins that are sticking up here, from the box these came with pins that were sticking out the top and bent the other way, but I want to be able to mount this in this board so that this is all kind of one small compact unit without anything hanging out. So I actually desoldered the pins that were here and then soldered my own pins back in to accomplish that because I'm going to probably end up mounting this something like this off the top so that I don't have it sticking up like this and have wires sticking straight out the front. It'll be more flat and low profile and allow me to keep my wires tidy up against the wall. So, But overall I was really impressed with it while doing this. I've got a ton more electronics projects coming up. So overall I am super happy with this soldering iron. It is basically fits the bill as Simple enough, but a ton of features that make soldering a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable. My favorite feature about this soldering iron by far is the fact that with the included power adapter, this thing is ready to go in 8 to 10 seconds. You're, I mean, you're soldering. It just makes it a lot easier to be able to turn this off and not have to wait for it to heat up again. The adjustability is also fantastic since it's just right there at your fingertips. If you're switching wire sizes on what you're doing, you also have that ability to, you know, adjust that temperature on the fly, right, without even really getting out of position from where you're at. I also believe that this set of tips that it comes with, if you get the set that comes with the six tips, is more than enough for probably 95% of situations. I don't think you're going to be lacking with the different varieties of tips. You've got two chisel tips in different sizes. You've got two pointed tips. I've got this small one in my hand here. The kind of larger one is in the soldering iron right now that are just regular round points. And then you've got two different sized 45 degree angle tips. So you definitely have a variety of options when it comes to the tips included with this. The one bummer is, is that these are kind of, from what I've seen, somewhat proprietary to this soldering iron. So you're not going to be able to pick up tips anywhere you're going to have to look for these specific ones but they do work well they're very heavy duty and I don't think there's going to be any sort of issue with their durability I do like the quick and easy no thread in style and just having that nut that locks them down on this collar one thing I do wish was included with this soldering iron is some type of storage or carrying case that could hold all of this stuff nicely the box is great, however it's a cardboard box so over time that's going to get worn out or damaged and it doesn't really protect from water or anything like that. So I would definitely like to see some type of 
storage case for this. I mean, it's not included, it's not a deal breaker, but it would be nice. So that about wraps up this soldering iron. And like I said, check it out if you're looking for one. I've been thinking about one for a while and they offered to send this to me. So I jumped at that and I've been very, very happy with it. I'll put some links in the description below to Amazon as well as Kaiweeds Direct. There will be a coupon code below for Kaiweeds Direct as well for I think it's 15% off. So watch out for that in the description if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself.